Hey friends, welcome to another vlog. It's 1020 and I just got to the dentist's office. I have another dentist appointment. This is what happens when you don't go to the dentist for over 10 years. You have to go every three months. But look, I'm here. We're gonna do it. Hopefully everything's fine. Um, and it can be like a quick in and out thing. It's just like a gum health checkup, I believe. Um, I'm trying not, I'm trying, I'm trying to let it go, but I'm feeling very stressed this morning. It has not been my finest parenting hour. Uh, Jeff is working from home today, which is great. So he's home with Theodore. I just dropped Hugo off at camp. Um, my dentist appointment is at 11, and then I have a nail appointment at 11, uh, 1245. Not, not 1145, 1245. Um, yeah, I'm stressed. I've been really stressed um, for the past, like, 12, I would say, 12 to 18 hours. Um, because, sorry, there's a lady coming, and I'm like, is she going to be in the car right next to me? She's definitely, like, of all the cars, she's going to come and so one second I don't want to seem like a weirdo I've been trying not to stress this morning but we found out yesterday that our AM preschool that we were hoping on is not gonna work out for September and it's mid-July and most preschools are fully booked right now and have wait lists and he's still in his P pre PM preschool um, that's the one he's been going to which is great I just feel very stressed now about finding an AM program and if we can't find an AM program, figuring out what I'm going to do for the school year with him in the morning. Um, and it, it probably sounds less, I don't know, less stressful than it needs to be, but like knowing my child, knowing his learning style, like knowing what he needs, he really flourishes around other little kids and he really flourishes in a social setting and I'm stressed thinking that like we won't be able to find a preschool for him and thus we won't have like he won't have a structured routine for the mornings that involves a preschool like I will then come up with something that whether that be like homeschooling or taking him somewhere like a museum it's just you know like my y'all you, know y'all know like it's just a, a stressful it's a stressful thing like preschools preschool attendance like is very stressful which is so bizarre because it shouldn't be it's preschool in theory it should not be stressful but it seems to me and like from I mentioned this on my Instagram and I had a few messages saying like oh we're, we're dealing with the same thing in a different state like it seems like this is pretty much across the board that like getting your little one into a preschool is such a headache and it's like why it shouldn't it shouldn't be that way I mean I get it like there there aren't a lot of there aren't I guess there aren't a lot of preschools and there's a lot of little kids and so you know and I guess too like the thing is I I'm stressed because this was an avoidable to a certain extent this was avoidable one has already gotten back to me that they're full there's a wait list we could join and um, I'm still waiting to hear back from three others so I'm hoping that at least one of them has some sort of availability I mean really we're only looking for the mornings which I know is like the most popular time but it would be ugh, I don't know it's like such a headache and I do I'm not like I I'm not good at separating like my stress from my parenting you know like when I'm feeling very stressed about something like this it's then hard for me to not let that let myself be easily triggered by other things and luckily Theodore's doing a lot better he is I would say I would go out on the limb and say he's not sick anymore um, he's not really coughing and he's been sleeping really well for the past two nights so hallelujah um, but he is a toddler and like toddlers are intense toddlers are intense so there's that and uh, that's it. The plan is I'll go to the dentist. Um, I do need to pick up nine volt batteries from Target. I put in an order, random, and then um, I have my nail appointment at 12:45, and then um, after that I'll pick up Hugo from camp. That's the game plan, folks. Um, today's the Nordstrom anniversary sale. Go shop the Nordstrom anniversary sale. There's, um, you go check out my my video a couple videos ago about my Nordstrom anniversary sale picks, baby gear picks. Um, the Junas, I think the Junas sold out. I wasn't seeing it, but you never know what they bring back sometimes. They, and 
they also like do rolling. So um, if something you don't see something today, they might have some. They might have it tomorrow. They might have something new tomorrow. So just keep an eye out. All right, I'm gonna go. Um, it's 10:30, but I'll go in early and see maybe if maybe if they can see me a little bit early. All right, fingers crossed that my teeth are fine. Please. All right, guys, all went well. Yay, she said everything looked great. <laughs> so proud of myself. Um, and my next appointment is in October, so that's good. Um, I am going to stop by Target right now and pick up, I ordered batteries. Did I mention that before? I'm gonna go pick up those batteries and then it's only 11.50, but it's, a, it's actually good timing because by the time I get to the nail salon, it might time out well. All right, let's go pick up some batteries. <laughs> he was like, uh, here. <laughs> I was like, thanks. I'm the random person who just ordered one pack of batteries. You know what? Is it just me or when you walk into a store looking for batteries, it's like you, got, you have no idea where you're going. And also, knowing me, I could not just go inside Target and get one pack of batteries. No way, Jose. We all know I'd go in there and find 17 other things to buy. Like, no way would I walk out with just one pack of batteries. And I had Target Circle earnings, so I it, the batteries were like nine bucks or something, and I put my earnings toward them, and it was like six dollars. So you tell me a time when I would go into Target and only walk out having spent six dollars. It literally would never happen. It would, it would never ever happen. Walk past the dollar spot, Spend twenty dollars. Walk past the toys. Buy something that we don't need for forty dollars. Buy the food for however many. You know, you know. So there we go. Pat on my back. Spend six dollars at Target today. <laughs> All right, let's go to the nail salon. Speaking of spending money, <laughs> gotta go get my nails done. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. I have to go get my nails done. All right, guys, um, my nails are done. I went with white, just like super simple. Um, I was looking at, they had like a really pretty, like purpley, sparkly color. Oh, and I was like this close to picking it, but then I was like, you know, let me just go with white. Straightforward, it looks really nice and like, you know, you know. Anyway, it's 1.30. It's a bit of an awkward time because, sorry, I'm feeling like, I was so overstimulated this. Um, I was so overly simulated this morning and just like I think too like still coming down from this past like Theodore being sick from the past week being kind of nuts and then like finding out about the preschool and then um, the past few days like with the Amazon Prime sale and then today's the Nordstrom sale and like linking all that stuff on Instagram like it's just all a lot and I think my body's just sort of calming down from all of that. Um, so I'm feeling kind of tired. It's 1.30. This is a bit of an awkward time because Hugo finishes camp at 3. And it is enough time to go home, but it would be like enough time to go home, like sit, and then go have to leave. So I'm thinking I might just... I'll text Jeff and see if he needs anything from the grocery store. Um, actually, let me call him. Hello? Hello. Hi. Um, so I'm done now. Um, I feel like it's kind of an awkward time because. <gasps> Mama! Ice. Hi, honey. Ice. 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 Are, you being, are you being the best boy ever? Yes, you really is. Aww. Um, I was going to say, I feel like it's a bit of an awkward time. Um, yeah. And like maybe it's better for me to just stay out, but do you need anything from like Stop and Shop or Whole Foods? I ran out of milk for coffee. Okay. So maybe some oat milk would be great. I don't know when, like if we go shopping on Sunday, then yeah, I would love some more oat milk. Okay. Um, but I mean, I think that's probably it. <laughs> um, also, what do you want to do for dinner tonight? 
I mean, I don't even know. I don't even know. <laughs> All right, let me go. Okay, love you. Love you, bye. Bye. All right, let's go to the grocery store. All right, well, that was super random, but here we are. Use one of these hand sanitizing wipes. Um, so it's a stop and shop, and their reusable bags are really good, and they're only 50 cents. So I got two. And you can always use more reusable bags. Also got, got Jeff some oat milk, which is what he wanted. And then I picked these up because they looked really good. I don't, we haven't tried them yet. They're the Annie's Snacks Vegan Pizza Bites. I thought maybe we could try. We could just maybe see if Hugo and Theodore want to try them. I have the only two kids on the planet who don't like pizza. <laughs> but... Like, you know it's gotten to a desperate point where you're like, let's, we need to try something new. Let's just try some pizza. <laughs> and then I got myself a vitamin water. Lemony flavored. I haven't eaten anything since breakfast. I had two slices of avocado toast. I'm actually like, surprisingly not that hungry. I did bring a whole box of saltine crackers with me today. I think that she did the fluoride treatment on my teeth, so like... You know, obviously I wasn't going to eat right before the dentist and then afterward it was like feels weird in my mouth, you know? Ugh. And then after the flurry treatment everything like for a little while it's just a little off. But there you go. And um it was freezing in there. It was so cold. Okay, it's it's 206 so I have an hour until I need to pick Hugo up. And so I'm just gonna hang out in, in the parking lot. I'm just gonna hang out here for, I know it sounds crazy, an hour, but again, like it doesn't make any sense for me to drive home and then have to drive back here to pick Hugo up. So yeah, I'm just gonna like enjoy this quiet mom time where I can just like not, not, not you know, not just, I just don't have to. <laughs> Nothing, I don't have to do anything. Whew, okay, I'm home, it's 4.15, oh, I'm still filming there. It's 4.15, um, picked up Hugo from camp, he had a great day. When he got home, we gave him a bath because he was filthy, so dirty. And um, they had something to eat and now Theodore and Hugo are watching the iPad in our bed. So, you know it's Friday when you just let both your kids watch the iPad in bed. Um, and, Jeff called, reached out to a couple more preschools. So hopefully, hopefully this whole annoying saga is done soon. Hopefully by the time this video gets uploaded, it'll be over and like, I won't have to stress about it. Um, anyway, I'm gonna finish this vlog out here because I feel like I filmed a lot today, mostly in my car. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.